Hi YouTube family. Welcome to Zoe's Garden. Today I'm going to talk about starting zucchini and yellow squash plants from seeds. And these are my second run of seedlings. I started the yellow squash and zucchini back on March 22nd during the coronavirus shutdown. And I'm going to show you what they look like today. It's been a couple months since uh, I started those back in March. These are just my second run. I've got some bok choy and lettuce and marigold. And that's a video for another day. But I had one packet of seeds of zucchini and yellow squash and they pretty much sprouted uh, about 90% and had a lot of little seedlings. Once they got a little bigger I repotted them into a one quart size pot. Once they got outgrown their little quart container I put them in these larger containers. This is my daughter Zoe. Hi. You like gardening with mommy? Yes. <laughs> and as you can see I have one plant in each pot and some tomato in a tomato cage and that helps keep them upright. I have a lot of blooms on them right now. Mostly male plants, a few fruit. And this one, I see a little a little baby zucchini right there. Hopefully it got pollinated by the bees. If not, I have to come back and probably hand pollinate them. And here's a little baby yellow squash. And some more little yellow squash fruit and they really like being in these larger pots I got a little greedy because I didn't want to throw away my seedlings and I decided to put two plants in this pot and it's kind of tight but oh no uh, this one lost a little baby zucchini, um, yellow squash. So it looks like it did not get fully pollinated and it dropped its fruit. But I got one more coming out, so hopefully that one will produce full size yellow squash for me. And then I have this pot I also put two plants in one and this one actually I do not know if they're zucchini or yellow squash they have a lot of male flowers but no female fruit so once that female fruit forms and I can figure out if they're zucchini or yellow squash I got the seedlings mixed up at one point but I started the seedlings on March 22nd during the coronavirus shutdown. And today is May 17th, so it's been a couple of months and they've just exploded. As you can see. And when they were seedlings, I used this Alaska fish fertilizer that seemed to like that and then when they got a little bigger about three four inches I started using the Vermistera tea and they they did well with that and once I transplanted them into these larger containers I used the worm casting and I put it on top before I mulched. So as you can see, 
they've uh, exploded. So, if you're thinking about growing some zucchini or yellow squash plants, they're really easy to grow. Just give them a lot of room and fertilizer and they will do well and produce a lot of fruit. Well, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like it, share, or subscribe. Bye, y'all.